Hi, welcome to another episode of A Walk Through Comics 2000. This episode is Susie Amakane, who did the cover for Comics Underground Japan, which you can see here on her manga shelf, and is probably represented elsewhere, too. Um, I just can't find it at the moment since it's a little disorganized. This is a really funny comic called Wangan Dog. It's eight pages. It's a really consistent six-panel grid. It's main goal clearly is to just keep the yucks coming and um, it's pretty funny let's let's take a look so in the first panel what looks like a tennis racket or badminton racket in fact in panel two suddenly becomes something else it's a hole in the ground it's a portal it's a manhole cover or something and out of it appears our main character on panel three and a dog in panel four. New page, panels five and six, they're sort of celebrating coming out of the hole. Little character picks up the racket and from within the racket finds another racket. And that's the great thing we're gonna see in the next coming pages too, is that things are not what they seem to be and exactly what they look like. If it looks like a hole, it is a hole. <laughs> if it looks like a spot in the ground, it is a spot in the ground. So here's page three, and they divvy up the rackets. He closes the first racket, so now it is a proper racket without a hole in the middle. And panel 14, they're like, we don't have a birdie or a shuttlecock. And I don't know if this is a dirty joke on the or a pun on the word shuttlecock, but I'll let you decipher panel seven, 16, which is um, probably the most pornographic panel we've seen in comics 2000 so far but anyway so that's happening on page four up oh, he's got a birdie and again it's like things are not what they seem they are what they seem they're exactly what they look like stuff like that at least how they're drawn with lines and it's just silliness panels 18 through 20 and 21 they're playing badminton they're having a lot of fun the artist is having a lot of fun drawing those action scenes but now panel 22 that birdie is caught up in that tree. Panel 23, the dog's climbing up that tree, trying to reach it. Can't reach it. 25, 26, 27, 28. More action as he is caught up there. Panel 29, he's really caught. We're on the next page now. The little character runs off, goes to get a trampoline sort of yells up to reach him. And now we're following the sort of slapstick of it. Like we're not following the, the what do things, what are things, they look like something, are they really that thing? Now we're just following the sort of zaniness of the characters and the zaniness of the action like we might a silent movie. Panel 35, he falls down, but he hits that trampoline and zooms all the way back up. 39, he catches that branch again. And now in 40, he is stuck there. And in the last page, he's looking up at that little dog in that big black spot of a tree. And now the comic shifts again, and we're no longer watching the, the zaniness of the action, but now things are exactly what they seem to be again, or exactly what they look like, which is that looks like a tiny dog. He's going to treat it like a tiny dog. He's going to grab it and panel 45 takes it home and sticks it under his table to uh, hold, up their <laughs> hold up their table. And uh, it's just stuck in that position. And if you even go back a panel, you see that dog's paws are still stuck there on the tree. All he needed was that, that much of that little creature. And that's the end of that, that great silly comic. This is a classic kind of cartoon, which just is the artist having fun creating a world inside of a box, creating a, a little cartoon world that doesn't follow any rules except cartoon rules. Um, here's Ernie Bushmiller in a Nancy comic showing us that anything can happen in a comic strip. There's so many wonderful examples of this. Clearly, Susie Amakane is just into having fun. Um, this is his website that he shares with another artist. It's full of flashing lights and zany art. Again, I think this comic shows that 
comics and cartoons and comic strips, it's just a great place to invent your own world and surprise yourself and decide what happens in it and decide what rules work, what rules count, what matters. It's just, it's a great example of something that comics does really well 